thank you very much. My name is Christian Schulze. I am with Beckhoff Automation since 2000 and uh, I have 27 years experience in the automation industry and I have to say thank you very much for this fantastic uh, first speech and, and this overview. It was a really, really nice overview to see what's possible and um, we have very, very less time so I just jump uh, a little bit to get an information about Beckhoff. Beckhoff uh, is a company with 600 uh, million uh, dollar turnover uh, located in, in Germany. We do industrial uh, automation solutions for every industry, doesn't matter which kind of industry, building automation, factory automation, uh, environment automation, machine automation. And uh, we also were the second biggest uh, motherboard producer with over 50,000 motherboards. Uh, uh, produced last year. Half of Siemens I learned yesterday they produced 100,000 uh, motherboards. So uh, we are very, very well and it takes a few years to catch maybe Siemens. Um, so we, we have the field bus integration with the EtherCAD technology. We sold more than 12 million uh, terminals last year, 2 million EtherCAD uh, bus terminals. So EtherCAD is an organization with 1,960 companies. They are using Ethernet, e EtherCAT. So EtherCAT is the biggest technology group, uh, real-time uh, Ethernet technology group in the world. So uh, our system is scaled on NT, uh, XP, Windows, uh, Sandus Windows 7, CE. So we implement a real-time system on a standard Windows. We exchange the scheduling of the Windows system to a real-time system, so you have a Windows with really hard real-time and real-time, we're talking about real-time from a PLC cycle time less than 100 microseconds and a bus cycle time from 30 microseconds. That's standard in our technology. So everything is standard, everything is EEC 61131 programmed and we have motion controller, HMI, and also the very, very high expertise in embedded automation and our software, we sold already 400,000 licenses of our TwinCAD software. So around the world, 400,000 machines with industrial PC automation are working. Our co commitment. So Beckhoff is member since 1998 uh, in the OPC Foundation. Uh, early adapted uh, the technology in 1999. Uh, OPC uh, server, OPC XML 2002, 2006, the first uh, OPC UA server embedded into a PLC. So we are really, really fast and uh, also OPC uh, data access in 2008, 2011 OPC historical access, 2012 alarm and condition. So you will see that we are using OPCs at the beginning in every uh, soft PLC, in every embedded PC, uh, we will bring out uh, our passion, active pushing OPC UA in the industry. And uh, since 2008, uh, uh, Mr. Um, Stefan Hopper is uh, the president of the uh, OPC Europe Foundation. He would to speak here, but he is not able because we have a new product and he's traveling. So I try to do the best to bring over what he is doing in Europe. And uh, he's organizing also the next big meeting uh, at Anderson Hauser uh, for the OP OPC UA. Uh, 2010, uh, there was a very, very interesting year. The EEC 61131 connected to OPC UA with namespace and PLC Open UA function blocks for the connectivity. So we already have connected connectivity function blocks. That's very, very, uh, the most people don't know that. So we directly can connect the uh, OPC uh, function blocks in the PLC. Another very, very interesting thing, OPC and MAS. So there's already a group who's working uh, to manufacturing with the MAS group together. It started uh, with SAP at the last uh, international uh, last European OPC meeting and uh, since then we have also a very, very interesting group uh, to work with the OPC and the MAS uh, together. So MAS connectivity. So there are many, many members or uh, companies like Siemens, uh, 3S, ABB, 
many companies are driving this uh, MAS connectivity uh, group and, and that will be also a very, very big issue for the next time for the OPC. And important, PLC Open defines not an MAS standard. Many people are afraid that OPC is going to, to say something about the MAS. No, it's, it's just uh, to help to connect the MAS so we don't touch the MAS itself. So we just provide transportation and security like my speaker before just explained. That's the idea from the OPC. So I have just a, a small movie uh, about the OPC, then I have to speak a little bit less. And let's speak uh, Stefan Hoppe. Hi, my name is Roland van Mark, and I'm the responsible product and marketing manager of the backup automation company in Germany. For over a decade, Beckhoff is designing, producing and supplying industrial PCs and control panels. Our customers are globally located and they use our products to operate a machine, to control a building or to organize and process. So our technology is the core technology, is the heart for the machine or the building application. And as this is the core product, it has to fulfill several quality aspects. Our customers expect the industrial PC and the control panel to be extremely robust, to withstand high temperatures, to have high performance, be long time available and extremely reliable. And for reliability, it is important to monitor different features and factors and information of the PC, like the temperature of the CPU, the fan speed of your fan inside the PC, but also the usage of your compact flash card and a couple of other features. To monitor and identify these features, you can of course use an internal backup interface, but we are also offering an external access, as a lot of clients use our products as a standalone unit. And we decided to use OPC unified architecture as a common standard to allow access to these key features. With OPC UA, you have the chance to remotely and securely access this data to monitor the status of your industrial PC and to guarantee reliable and long-time working machinery and buildings. OPC UA is a standard, a free of charge standard on any back of IPC and control panel PCs because we would like to make it easy for our customers to access this information. So on every hour, uh, embedded PCs, Hello. OPC is already in the I'm I'm a product manager for Twinket working at Back of Automation in Germany. I'm responsible for the connectivity to the outside world and so international standards to access our devices is a key functionality for Back of. We early recognized the powerful functionalities of OPC unified architecture. This standard allows platform independent, secured, fast, reliable communication and providing features like keeping information models uh, for other organizations. So we integrated this into our very smallest embedded devices but also in our powerful industrial PCs. We integrated all standards like data access, historical access, but also alarm and condition into smallest embedded devices running with Microsoft Embedded CE or the XP Embedded or Windows Embedded Standard Platform. We also integrated a unified architecture client into the device, which allows to initiate a communication from a controller to the outside world, horizontal to other controllers, but also vertical up into the enterprise world. Yeah, just to repeat what uh, they said, in every of these industrial PCs, more than 50,000 OPC is already integrated. So that's also the same what uh, the speaker before uh, pronounced. So it's already 50,000 just from back of uh, OPC inside. Uh, so the motivation from back of is to have an abstract layer to diagnostic and configuration. So we can go to every 
PC, doesn't matter which operating system is on, is it a CE, Windows 7, doesn't matter, we are able to look to every PC in the field and get uh, the information of the model, different communication channels, diagnostic website, remote and security, artifact engine uh, encryption. And it's not bundled with our software, so if you buy just the PC, you already have these uh, possibilities. So you can really look in the PC via the uh, OPC and you see the TCP IP address, you, uh, you see uh, the inf information about the CPU uses, you see the um, RAID controller status, you can see the fan speed, and that's for every industrial PC. Doesn't matter which kind of operating system, you directly can look to the industrial PC. And you have the name, the uh, operating system, every information you can see of uh, the PC. Uh, the automation controller here is PLC mm -hmm. and server integrated DA, uh, HA, AC. It's completely integrated in these uh, small industrial PCs and also a client is integrated. That's very, very important to explain that we have also the client integrated. So the future is not the future, like the speaker before said, so for us it's already the reality. He is smiling, so uh, we have a controller to act as OPC UA client and HMS MAS to act as OPC UA server. And, and so we have the full spectrum directly and there's no PLC level, so you directly speak from the PLC direct to the uh, upper level via OPC UA. And the most interesting thing is we have a special lab, ASCO lab, that certificated OPC UA products from Beckhoff. So we have a other certification to be sure that OPC UA is completely running uh, like OPC you want. So a little bit solutions. Uh, Areva, Multibird, uh, so we are in the wind miles. 20% of all wind miles in the world are done with technology from Beckhoff. So they are built 2,000 wind miles every month in China, and 20% in of these mi wind miles are also our technology. And uh, so they are controlled with a sm small embedded controller with CE platform, integrated with UA server, and uh, uh, the connectivity to the IT is done via OPC UA. Another solution, very nice one, is this small ship. And there is a custom designed motherboard. We design also motherboard for customers. And this is for a Dornbracht, so for your shower. If you have a nice shower, you can change the, the shower, the rainfall, the view, everything. And this is uh, working with Windows Embedded CE. And it's crazy thing, OPC UA server is a connection to the visualization to Silverlight. So you have a very, very small motherboard. It's smaller than the half dollar uh, and a quarter of a dollar. That's a motherboard, a PC motherboard with Ethernet, U OPC UA connection. So that to, to the speaker before, you can put it also in the smallest device and can run it with that. Another film, sorry for, for, for this bad connection. Can you rise it? This is a joint demo between the SAP and the Beckhoff company as part of the Manufacturing Co-Innovation Lab initiative. The objective of the demo is to showcase the integration between the shop floor and the, and the top floor. SAP support open connectivity standard, especially OPC unified architecture. To demonstrate industry compliance, we wanted to use a controller that the audience already broadly used in the facility. Let's start with a typical SAP environment. We just created in ERP a production order. Let's release it to the shop floor. Immediately, the production order is made available to the shop floor in SAP manufacturing. <laughs> SAP supports the shop floor operator in his daily task. Using SAP plant connectivity, it is easy to transfer shop floor data to SAP ME via OPC UA. When I start the production, all the data will be transferred with messages. Quality 
measurements will be transferred, also status of the operations. This was a small uh, movie from, from uh, SAP and just to show you that uh, we are working together with SAP direct to connect the PLC to uh, SAP and uh, this solution uh, we, we can directly SAP ERP to, uh, S to the ME system from SAP to the uh, PC Co and to the PLC. Uh, the colleague from SIP will in the evening, maybe in the afternoon, maybe a little bit explain uh, these, how it will work, but it's very, very easy connection directly from uh, the machine up to the SAP. Thank you very much. It was a very fast presentation. Sorry for that. And I hope you got a little bit uh, that is not future, it's reality, and we're just working with it. Thank you very much.